Hi guys, uh, so this week I wanted to uh, do a video because I haven't done one in ages. Um, I've been hurdling some big uh, life opportunities that have come my way. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, anyway, so uh, core beliefs or core content, um, you know, are the things that make us work, are the things that make us motivated, make us upset, make us... Uh, determined or uh, procrastinate um they are how we see the world they are um how we react to the world they are our expectations uh the reason we have disappointment um they they're based off all of all of that and uh i mean i found that some of my i had to search for my own uh, core cool beliefs and you guys can do it too. I have um, a bit of an exercise if I can remember the correct one um, and that was something that I had to try and find out what my core beliefs were, um, how to work through them. Uh, so I'll just, I'll discuss the exercise, um, a very, very quick one. I have a lot more exercises on core beliefs um, that I can do in another video. Um, so what you might do is you might think of something that bothers you. Like for instance, uh, I am afraid, for me, I was afraid to get my driver's license. I thought I would, I would fail. So anyway, I'm afraid to get my driver's license. Uh, so then you might say, what does that mean about me? Uh, so what does that mean about me? Well, that means that I'm not very good at anything. Uh, or I often fail. And then you might say, and what does that mean about me? And you go, well, I shouldn't try. And what does that mean about me? I'm a failure. There is your core, there is your core belief. There is your core content. So, uh, sorry, I have an itchy face. <laughs> uh, it's really good to ask, what does that mean about me? Write it down, put it in your little um, notes and uh, look at how everything has changed in your mind to actually analyzing what the issue is. Because we can act out all sorts of uh, avoidant behaviors. We can act out all, sort of, uh, all sorts of irregular, inconsistent, um, aggressive behaviors when we don't know what the core belief is that's triggering it. And when we do. <laughs> um, but I always find it's better to work with something at least when you know what you're, you're, what you're afraid of, what you're working with, how you see the world, um, <clears throat> and what is making those, uh, you know, behaviors that maybe you don't want in your life, or maybe others don't want in your life to come out, or preventing you from uh, your ability to succeed, your ability to get that job, or to be that person, or to stay in recovery, or to, uh, you know, get mentally stable. I mean, we we all want that right we all want to just uh do the best we can in life and uh i think that there are also uh beliefs that we can tie in that we feel like are our own um so there are three different uh core beliefs um you've got positive core beliefs so positive core beliefs are like i am enough that's a positive core belief uh, a negative core belief is i am not enough or i am a failure um, and then you've got supportive beliefs and supportive beliefs are, uh, beliefs that make that a fact. Um, I am not enough because my father said that to me once or because other people look at me in a way that makes me feel that way. Um, so it's a supportive belief is, it's just, uh, how other people view you in your own mind. <laughs> um, so the spotlight effect, if you guys look into that, the spotlight effect goes into, uh, our own perceptions of how people view us. And it's usually wrong. People aren't concerned. <laughs> Often, people are not looking at you going, oh, that person is awful. I just don't like her. I'm judging her whole character because I know her that well. I am a stranger after all. <laughs> uh, so there's always ways to, um, to change our perception on uh, what we think is really happening and what's really happening. I mean, CBT is a great way to do that, facts. Uh, core beliefs exercises to try and figure out what you're actually dealing with to face your demons, you know, so to speak. And then you can figure out why. So I am a failure. Why? Where has that come from? Uh, and then you can use some CBT. 
Uh, is there any evidence to suggest you actually are a failure? Because if you're not, then you're just beating yourself up for nothing. It's like a boxing match with no opponent, <laughs> except just you giving yourself a hard time. And nothing positive comes out of that. I know because I barely slept, but I still got my license. <laughs> I still got my license. I still managed to um, finish my course. I still managed to help a, a bunch of people along the way um, with chasing their own dreams, with adequate advice, adequate um, support. But yet sometimes I fail to do that for myself. Uh, and I think that it doesn't matter how much you know, it, uh, we're always going to struggle. Uh, every, every single person in life is always going to have struggles. But there's a difference between, you know, struggling to, I guess, function and struggling with certain beliefs or certain problems and things of that nature. So you've also got to think on, um, is this within my capabilities right now? I always try and think on, uh, is it realistic? And uh, is it manageable? Um, like smart goals, for instance. <laughs> Simple, measurable, uh, able, realistic, and time bound. Yeah. And it's a really good way to set goals. It's a really good way to, uh, you know, once you understand what your core belief is, uh, why you have it, um, then maybe make some changes, some positive changes. <laughs> uh, so I am going to try to get rid of one of my addictions this week. Uh, I've already stopped gaming because I used to uh, play that occasionally in my downtime. Um, but uh, smoking is probably the last one to go. So I've, I've really cut back on my alcohol consumption and I very rarely drink nowadays. Um, and I just, I just feel like it's the time to change my life, be a little bit healthier, uh, and you know, appreciate what we have because we all have the opportunity to change our mind, change our life, and change the view of others. Okay, I will uh, let you go this week and I would love to hear about any of the um, core uh, issues that you have come up with, what core content, core beliefs are coming up for you. Um, and if you guys want me to give you some exercises on any of the other um, sides of things. Like I've just given you one exercise. So and if you want any other exercises, please just let me know. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy your week. All right. Bye.